what is happening everybody today we'll be looking at Tom Ghost a room by Trihack Me based on the Tom the Ghost Cat vulnerability rather not Tom Ghost this vulnerability came out uh, early 2020 it's a file inclusion it allows attacker to read configuration files test files or any other Tomcat directories um, if a victim website permits any user to upload files, right, an attacker can upload files containing malicious GSP code to the server and then include the uploader file by exploiting the ghost cat vulnerability. And this results in remote code execution as you shall see in a few minutes. Let's get into it. I already ran the scans. I'm trying to be like IPSEC. So I'm starting to get into Rust scan first because then it looks like it grabs ports faster. Sometimes when I do an nmap scan, uh, it doesn't pull down all the ports. And I don't really want to do an old port scan and sit here for 30 minutes. So I do that, I chuck that into nmap. Okay, this, that didn't work because I didn't put the IP, but I then chuck that into nmap. Output uh, my stuff into a text file called an initial. And then so we see here we got four ports, 2253809, which is the Apache JSERF. It comes with the Apache Tomcat thing. And uh, 53 doesn't look interesting. No way we're gonna look at 22 because we won't come up with anything. So we can run off to port 8080 and check it out. Okay, so we have the basic default Tomcat with page. All right, we got the documentation and all that. Apache 9.0.30. So the first thing I would look at is see if I have access to the manager app, which we don't in this case. Usually it would give you a dialog box where you can enter creds. And sometimes this default credential and the default name they do work so you can try that out if it works you in upload a WAR file we're not um, able to access the host manager as well so that's a dead end in this case so the next thing I would do I can really tell you that going to this right it's, it's not an actual website so it's not going to load. I mean, we can go to it if you'd like, but it's not going to show anything. My bad. What am I doing? Like I said, it doesn't actually pull down anything. So all we can do right now is either do a directory busting or we can look up for exploits for this Apache Tomcat version. But since Trihack me, the creator of the room decided to put a whole ghost cat image on the front of the room. We have a pretty good idea of what the vulnerability is and what to look for. So um, you can look up Where's the version? Apache Tomcat exploit. Right. This pulls out a lot of stuff, and the first thing you see is going to be uh, a ghost cat. As you can see, I've already visited some of these pages, so ghost cat is the first thing you're going to see, and that is what we're going to be looking at. I followed a blog post on Medium. That is the blog post by Justin Noob. It probably isn't Justin Noob though, but it's all good. So, yeah, if you go through the blog post, it details you on how to exploit this. And he gives us a GitHub where we can download some of the scripts for attacking. I'll put those in the description as well as the blog post. Right, so what you're gonna need is this API shooter and I already have it in 
my local files saved it as exploit.py it's a python exploit python 3 all right i got the shebang here the author zero zero the way kudos to you and then so we'd like to read files on the tomcat web server like we said it's a file inclusion vulnerability so what we're going to do is python 3 um our exploit right and then the path the url to our tomcat server with my ip I grab my ip and then it is 8080 all right and then our AJP port, right? Web inf, and then we we want to read. So if if you get this output, it means that it is vulnerable, and you can read and retrieve files from the web server. So what we want to read is the web dot XML, right? So we go back. You can press up. And then we read that. Uh, something did not work. I did not actually type web. Silly me. All right, as you can see, we read the web the web.xml file, and um, it says "Welcome to Ghost Cat," and that is the actual Ghost Cat vulnerability. You can read files on the web server as long as you know the file is actually there you can read it so now we got a username and what looks like a password hmm. we can try ssh into the machine with these lookalike credentials all right copy the password and we are in there <laughs> I put lin peas on this but we're not gonna use lin peas anyways I was just trying to do some manual enumeration before I look at the credential and the trihagme.asc so uh, just a few things to note to read a pjp file we have to um, decrypt it with an ASC file but to read an ASC file you need a passphrase and you can crack ASC files with John our lovely friend John so what we're gonna do is copy let's copy down these two files actually we're gonna copy down these two files to a local machine and then crack them right what is the syntax for this i keep forgetting the ip address of this thing and the syntax for secure copy ip and then the file let's get the credential first save it here we're gonna need the password there we go and then now we want the ASC file try hack .ac. copy this password again there we go so now we have the two files right so what we want to do first is crack the ASC file so we're gonna pass that to John. Um, we're gonna put that in crack me. So if we cat crack me, we have this type of format. It's a hash, and then John is gonna try crack that. I'm not gonna try it, but it will. So we're gonna use. Uh, rocky.txt user share red list 
I don't like how it doesn't autocomplete for John when you do that and that did not work. It is the name of this. Okay, there we go. Session completed. There we have the passphrase for the ASC file, right? Alexandru. So now to open the JPG file. GPG, I keep saying JPG, right? PGP, actually. Why am I getting that wrong, though? PGP file. We're gonna need to import it. Tag tag import. First, we import the triacme ASC file to GPG. If I can spell it right, though. Um, the password, Alexandru. I'm bad at typing. Let me just copy and paste. Copy that. Try again. There we go. Okay, we have imported that, and then we can decrypt the um we can cut it out we can output it to a file or call it creds. Okay, it's not considered an option. Well, whatever. Passphrase. I hope I still have that copied. Okay, now we have a password looking string. Actually, Merlin, is that a user? Um, okay, so people with shells on the machine is our current user and then there's Merlin as well as you can see they have the shell bin bash okay so we can try SSH into the machine with the user Merlin let me just grab the IP address because I keep forgetting it SSH Merlin we go copy the password again Okay, we're in actually. I, I did not know that it worked. We can grab the user file. Ghost cat is so crazy. I have no idea what, what they're trying to say there. We can pull this up. Come on now. Don't embarrass me. There we go. All right, and so the first thing I do is check the history, see if I can find any passwords or something. The user may have entered, and then I go for sudo tag l. Okay, so we can run the zip as the root user, and what you'd want to do for that is just straight to GTF opens. <sighs> okay, GTF opens. Zip. Come on now. Pseudo. All right. So copy that, and then we should have a shell after this next command. Probably, I assume so. There we go. Who are we? Root. You can see the end. Root. List. Cat dot text the zip is fake <laughs> that is funny and that is the whole machine people have a good day some to the channel will be fantastic as well though